you might be at a junkyard or auto parts yard and find a vehicle that seems like it might be good to buy as a whole vehicle. Um, sometimes they're sold as a parts vehicle, and then later on you decide, well, wait a minute, I can make this into an actual car. Sometimes you'll come um, across a junkyard that'll have a vehicle for sale, and they'll be wanting to sell it to you. So what are title problems that can come up from buying a vehicle from a junkyard or parts yard or salvage yard? Well, it's more than just a title problem. It's a VIN number problem. And here's why. Here's a memo from the U.S. Department of Justice, and this isn't brand new. This is from 2010. The U.S. Department of Justice, which arguably is the most powerful law enforcement agency in the country, they don't play around. They have a memo that is federal enforcement of requirements regarding salvage yards, junkyards, and other certain businesses. Dear business owner, so they sent it to all these, and even if you didn't get it, it doesn't matter. You have to abide by it. D DOJ has been informed that some entities are not reporting reporting what you have to report salvage vehicles to the NMVTIS National Motor Vehicle Title Information System let's talk about what that is that's a federal database of every vehicle that is ineligible for a title meaning that it's parts only it's junk it's non it's not eligible to have a title issued in the future it's not up to the DMV to decide if they can issue a title. Once it's entered into that database, there's no titles that can be issued. So how does it get into that database? Well, a reporting entity includes any individual or entity that meets the definition of junkyard or salvage yard. Any individual or entity engaged in the business of acquiring junk vehicles for resale in their entirety or spare parts, rebuilding, restoration, or crushing. So if you're an individual or a company or a junkyard that rebuilds, sells cars, sells parts, sells parts cars, then you have to abide by this rule. What is the rule? The entity is required to report specific information to the NMVTIS within one month or pay $1,000 per, per vehicle. What do they have to report? They have to report the VIN number of the vehicle that the car is junked. So afterwards, even if somebody wants to buy the whole car for parts, that's okay, but you can't put it back on the road. Before you buy a car from a junkyard, normally they're not going to have a title, but even if they do have a title, if that VIN number is entered into the NMVTIS as junk, no DMV in the country is allowed to issue a title or registration for it ever again. It's irreversible, it's a cancellation of the VIN number. So before you buy a car from a junkyard, or before you try to get a title for a car that came from a junkyard, make sure it's not reported to the NMVTIS as a ineligible vehicle. Again, this is not a state thing. It's not like, well, some states are easier, my state's harder, I'll just go to another state. This is federal, US Department of Justice. It's a federal law. It doesn't have any exceptions for different states. In fact, for some period of time, there was a county in the state of Kentucky that said, we're not going to abide by this law. We're just going to do our own thing. Well, the federal government came in and put some put the screws to them and told them, look, you have to abide by this law. We're going to have some consequences. And the consequences were, you're not going to get federal money. We're going to, we're going to prosecute you, all kind of stuff. So they stopped doing it right away. And this is something that people run into all the time we get probably three four hundred calls a day in our office 20 or 30 of them are from people who purchase a vehicle from a junkyard or from an auction like copart or iaai and come to find out the vin number has been reported to the national motor vehicle title information system and that vin number has been deleted as an eligible vehicle from the federal uh, database so no state is allowed to give out a title so make sure you understand if there's any hint of history of that vehicle being in a junkyard, even if the junkyard says, yeah, it's okay, buy the car, do what you want to do, even if you think you can fix up the car, the VIN number might be canceled and you're out of luck. So do some more research on it if you're looking at junkyard vehicles because even a parts car that becomes an actual driving vehicle may not be able to get titled if it's got an NMVTIS history that prohibits it from 
a DMV printing out a title.